Hi, for today's video I am going to discuss with you sometimes the toner is not detecting in the machine. So today's video I am demonstrating Bishop 165E. So what are the reasons the toner is not detecting by the machine? So I will discuss you through this video. So this is the machine. So open this cover, this is the toner cartridge and uh, this is the drum and the developing unit here. So there's a screw here, I already removed the screw and open it. And uh, there's one more screw inside here, I already removed it and uh, disconnect this connector. And uh, open this side door. And, uh, Remote, release the toner. This is the toner cartridge. And uh, this is the unit. So in this Konica models, this developing unit and the drum units are combined. And this is a single unit. So here is the toner is transferred from this cartridge. So this is the area here. So. I am going to take this out from the machine and uh, very important thing is so inside the machine you can see there is a motor so you can see there is a motor here so this is very important thing this is a motor shaft and there is a motor is already attached so this is a rotating part so these two projections make sure that your machine having these two projections having the same length and without any damage make sure this is the very first thing you need to observe so because these two projections are locked by the toner cartridge and uh, rotating the toner cartridge so in this mission this is good in condition so this is the first thing you need to make sure and also your motor is not working properly there's a motor is attached you can see the metallic area is a motor this motor is not working the toner is not properly added so this is the second case so make sure this so in this mission, this is good in condition. Okay, this is the first thing you need to observe. The second thing is your toner cartridge. In the bottom area of your toner cartridge, you can see there is a two grooves here. So this area going inside and locked with the motor. So I will show you. So I am inserting this. See, it's already okay. This is locked properly. So make sure that your cartridge, your cartridge is good in condition. If your cartridge is not in good condition, you have you have to show this bottom area. So in this case, this is a good condition. This is the second thing. And the third thing, in the top area, this is the head area of the cartridge. So it's very important. There's a lock is here. So this lock. While you're putting the cartridge inside the machine, while we turn it in the clockwise direction, this already releases. In some cases this is not happening, you need to take it out completely and put the cartridge. Sometimes your problem will be solved. Okay, make sure that this lock is working properly. This is the third thing. So I will explain you how it works while you putting the cartridge into the machine. 
while you put the cat inside into the machine machine you we'll go inside and then you can see that some toner is already injected so when you moving this log to the clockwise direction this area will be automatically open and it will open to the uh, developing unit then the toner gradually moves from this toner cartridge to this developing unit because this cartridge try to rotate inside so if this rotation is not taking place by this motor and the shaft your toner cannot transfer from this cartridge to this developing area so this is a problem your machine is not detecting the toner so this is the video i think this video is enough for you thank you for watching my video